big project. So they have the plan database coming in. They have everything ready now. Now they want to create a web GIS where they can disseminate the data with uh, different hierarchy uh, for the public, for the administration, and different level of hierarchy. So the main uh, thing is that this is the Western Ghats region of India, and they have divided this Western Ghats into different grids, 3.5 meter by 3.5 minute by 3.5 minute. And uh, for each grid, they did the survey: what are the plant, what are the species type, how many species type, and all such kind of information. So they want to put up everything into web. And uh, yeah, other requirement which I find in India is that it, all of them want to see their data in on top of Google Earth or uh, Google Map or Yahoo. So that is kind of uh, common now. And uh, so these are some of the layers, supporting layers. These are the grids representing the species. And uh, the main thing is the search panel. So we have we can search on base of PA. PA is principal investigator. They had five PAs divided, you know, the Western Guards were was divided into five sections and they each one was given or was head of those sections. And we can search on their names, the species names, the habitat, whether it's a shrubs, tree or herb, uh, the political, you know, on the state level, district level, taluk level, and spatial. We, you can divide into zones and uh, see the results. So these are some of the layers put up. So uh, this, uh, I'm just showing you one search window where principal investigators source. You can drag in the investigators, investigators you want to search. Uh, you can say Ankur, for example, the selected Ankur. He has this many grids to survey. He uh, he surveyed 150 herbs, 189 shrubs, 33 trees, regenerations. Now you can view these things in the map or you can display the panel of the grids which he has done, that particular PA has done. Now after getting the result, this is the result, uh, uh, the result grids which he has done and there is a whole facility and he was very adamant to get the layer opacity control because he wanted to zoom into a particular grid and see what is, see the satellite image. So that was his aim when he said that he wanted to see Yahoo satellite or Google satellite behind his data. So, so that's why we put that layer opacity control uh, for this, and uh, this result is coming as a GeoJSON layer. I think uh, I conclude it here, and uh, yeah, this this was a brief uh, description of what I am doing and what I am trying to do as a alumni from HFT. Thank you. Feedback that is not really bad what we are doing in our master course. Yeah, sure. about all this SDI. Um, well, the question is maybe I can start on one of your slides. You have had also uh, well, the impact of the course photogrammetry. You did not mention it in your talk. Yeah, because what is the role in the oh, no, no, What is the photogrammetry? So, how important is photogrammetry? See, uh, yeah. I never had a hand on experience in photogrammetry before I came here. Uh, I just mentioned photogrammetry because that was a new thing which I learned from HFT. Okay. okay. New thing in a sense, uh, I learned a lot from photogrammetry because which I can handle a bit okay. with the yeah, project. Your questions, please. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. I think you have to use an extension of uh, to register uh, in our uh, Ministry of Companies, you know, according to Ministry of Companies Act, we need to uh, register it as a private company uh, in India. That's, that's not a big thing uh, because uh, if we go to a chartered accountant and uh, tell him what we need, he will do it for us. We just need to pay money. Because like, uh, let's say for lunch, you have to be uh, 
practice because it, 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 what you is, is there any, anything like that? I don't see such a uh, such a rule existing in uh, in uh, carrying out GS projects, you know. But some companies prefer when they take GS consultants from outside. Some companies prefer them to have some uh, GA certification, so like that. That depends on uh, your clients. Yeah. But in India, as far as you are a registered body, for because it comes under uh, I think the IT mainly the IT thing. Yeah, so, as long as you are a you are legally fit to do it. Would it be interesting for you to, to do projects in Europe also? Or, <laughs> or are you purely focused on India? No, I'm not, fo I'm focused all over the world, but... Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I think that's not a relevant question. Uh, because as, uh, if I'm carrying out a business, like this, of course, I need to uh, open my arms. I mean, th th these are part of that. I mean, frankly, these are part of that. These are part of letting people know what I'm doing. Uh, thank you for the presentation. It was good. Uh, my interest is in the licensing issues and the data availability. Uh, how are you dealing with this? I am dealing right now because my, if you notice, my main client is A3, Ashoka Trust for Research in Equality and Environment. So when I uh, make a contract with them, so because for GAs, with GAs we are safe, we are doing everything in open source and uh, like in, I mean related to that. But for doing GAs and remote sensing, I make a point in the contract that they should offer me the license of the software which I need to use. Because they are using Idrisi and this and they are the resource center for Idrisi. So it's not that difficult for them uh, to uh, offer me another external license for me as part of it. Because they enrolled me as an external consultant in their form. Or in that way, Columbia University, I am actually as a consultant for them. So they can uh, do that. I mean, that I make it sure in the contract. Because their work is mainly in a thousand and it will see so. Data. There is a, for instance, in Ghana, uh, it's quite difficult getting uh, data, and because of that, the yeah, uh, issues or activities are very low. And uh, I wanted to know if India will be facing such challenges. See, uh, one thing is that these NGOs, which I mentioned, mm -hmm. research institutes, they are in the field for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. So they have some uh, particular area of interest in India, and they already have a lot of data collected from the field. Okay, that's one thing. And uh, another thing is for remote sensing, fire mapping and things like that, you need satellite images, which uh, in, in the Columbia University case, they bought Aster images for all this. I gave them the list of the images, they bought it and gave it to me. They forwarded the FTP to me, I downloaded And we use Landsat, which is free. And for fire mapping, we used MODIS, which is again free. Okay, so this is how we have it. Can go to your submit department or your uh, data center? No. Okay. Maybe in the future, you have your own satellite data from Carposoft, your own satellites in India. Or <laughs> <laughs> okay, any I have a question? general question yeah. related to the question that uh, was asked about professional uh, certification. Do we have that kind of certification for geoinformatics and photogrammetry? Whether there is an organization, professional organization that does that certification? Or, because I know uh, I'm a geologist, we have the uh, Professional organization that does certification for specific. Um, uh, yeah, I think I think uh, for uh, I just know one ASPRS is giving a certification yes. for uh, remote sensing work and uh, things like. I think some people in US they need that certification to uh, give the work. I think there is no real dedicated uh, organization for that. Yeah. There are many claiming for that on the surveillance like the FIG and so on and so on. Uh, different ones. Maybe for geology, might be the not sure, but for remote sensing, it's one. And GAS, if you have a, a certification from S3, that is <laughs> supposed to be. <laughs> okay. okay. Then I think we should continue. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.